Good morning, Wolves, and welcome to your Wellness Monday Advisory lesson for ninth grade. Um, today, we're going to be working on our intro to mindfulness and learning about belly breathing. Um, advisors, for this activity, if you want to cue up some really calming music for the activity, that would be wonderful. If not, that's totally fine. You can just show this video. Um, so really quickly, we're going to do an introduction for mindfulness. Um, and so for the next couple weeks, we're really going to be focusing on learning a bunch of different mindfulness tools um, that you can use to help yourself calm down when you might notice yourself um, flipping your lid like we talked about last week. Um, and when you start to feel that biological stress response. So mindfulness has a deep and important uh, history in early Eastern cultures, and it's important to acknowledge and honor these deep roots when practicing mindfulness in order to help honor and respect our Asian American Pacific Islander community. Um, mindfulness is also a growing movement that's found a home um, in our uh, Western culture, and for good reason. Um, because um, it's really effective in helping us kind of learn how to manage our stress um, and also how to be more mindful of our emotions and how to deal with them. So mindfulness is just learning how to pay attention in a particular way on purpose in the present moment and non-judgmentally. So go ahead and in your advisory, if you'd like, you can raise your hand if you've ever suddenly appeared at home or seated at your desk and you remember nothing about how you got there. Many of us spend a large part of our days in these mindless states, what we like to call autopilot, without paying attention to what we're thinking or doing. And with mindfulness, you really are paying attention to your own thoughts, the physical sensations in your body and the world around you. Like I said earlier, there are a lot of benefits to mindfulness. These really include um, kind of reduction in some of those anxious thoughts that might come up when your anxiety or worry starts talking, helps you reduce your stress levels. It also increases your memory and your focus in classes. And it can also increase how you feel as far as positivity and reduce the way that you react to things um, because you're more mindful and present with your thoughts and your feelings. There are also a lot of um, people that are considered icons or billionaires and performers um, who like use mindfulness as part of their routines and habits. Um, and they really attribute their mindfulness practice to their success. Some of these people are Oprah Winfrey, um, Michael Jordan, and Steve Jobs. Um, another one that's really popular is LeBron James. All of these different pe people um, have a daily mindfulness practice that helps them really do well in what they are good at. Um, Kendrick Lamar also incorporates mindfulness into his daily practice, as does Selena Gomez, Lady Gaga, Demi Lovato, and Beyonce as well. So this really is something that many people use in order to help themselves perform well. So today we're just going to do an intro to belly breathing and there's a lot of different tools that we're going to learn, but the most important one that you will learn this week that I want you to practice in your classes is belly breathing. This is a great tool to use if you're having trouble um, with staying focused or maybe you start to notice that you're feeling stressed before you walk into a class and maybe your stress is holding you back a little bit. Um, breath based tools are usually easy to remember and they can be used in almost any situation. I like to call them sneaky tools because you can actually do them and someone could be looking at you in class and they wouldn't even know that you're doing them. So I'm going to go ahead and invite you to go ahead and practice this tool with me and at the end you'll be able to reflect in your advisory on how it went for you. Um, but let's go ahead and just take a moment to focus on our breathing. All right, so advisors, if you'd like to dim the lights in your advisory, you're more than welcome to or play some soft music. That's OK, too. 
And then I'm just going to go ahead and invite everyone in the room to push away any papers or class materials that are on the top of your desk. And you really shouldn't have anything in your hands. And so now to kind of help you settle into your seats and find some stillness, go ahead and just get both feet flat on the floor. Maybe take a couple of shoulder rolls back or a couple of like neck movements. It's okay if your neck pops a little bit. Go ahead and if you're comfortable, you can close your eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and close mine because I'm literally just staring at my face in the video. Um, if you wanna keep them open, you can, but try not to focus on any one point. And if you'd like to, you can go ahead and put your hands on your stomach or you can put them in your lap, keeping your feet flat on the floor. And just go ahead and focus on your breathing in through the nose, and then out through the mouth. Really just paying attention to each inhale and each exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. And if you notice that your mind starts to get swept up by different thoughts, or maybe you start to notice that certain feelings are talking to you, go ahead and just bring your attention back to that breath, breathing in. And breathing out. Just focusing on that breath. Noticing the feeling of the breath going in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Maybe taking just a couple more breaths on your own. Again, if your mind starts to wander or you start to hear some emotions talking to you, just go ahead and bring your attention back to the breath. And then go ahead and take one last exhale. And then wiggle those fingers and toes, bringing your body back into the room, bringing your brain back online. Slowly blinking open those eyes if they were closed. Just bring yourself back into the room. All right, guys. So in your advisories, feel free to share out, raise your hand if you felt like this was a tool that you liked. Um, you advisors, feel free to have some students share why if they're open to sharing. Um, maybe even talking about when you might use this tool in your daily life. And guys, if you didn't like this tool, that's totally fine. Um, this is a journey that you're on in finding what works for you. And maybe what didn't work today might work tomorrow. And there's so many other tools that we'll be exploring um, as the school year goes on. So hopefully you'll find some time to practice your belly breathing this week. Um, and I hope you all take care. Um, I'll see you next Monday. And I hope you have a wonderful start to your week. Bye, everyone.